Gabi Kashagwa is being held in that office. It's like the story of Simon Makonde. You remember that story? Yeah. One who died, who was born on Monday and by Sunday was buried. The kind of efficiency that has been exhibited in holding the Gabi Kashagwa out of office. If this efficiency was being exhibited in the management of the affairs of this country, Kenyans would be very happy. What is the hurry? The framers of the constitution gave the president 14 days to look for somebody to replace the deputy president. It gave parliament another 60 days. That's a total of 74 days. Why is a job that was prescribed by the framers of the constitution to be done in within 74 days is being done in half a day? You must ask yourself that question. I think it's being hurried to circumvent justice to avoid the courts of law from interrogating this matter and making a decision. The courts told us they don't want to interfere with the process, to let the parliamentary process get finished and then go to them. We have gone to them now. It's over. The courts will interrogate the process and make a, and make a determination. But I ask that the president obey court orders. Through a court order regarding Kashagwa is deputy president. Why doesn't he have cars? Why doesn't he have security? Why has his office been uh, made dysfunctional? I think it's very important. But I, finally, I want to tell the people of Kenya that I don't feel safe.